Our top focus, the death toll in the Chennai building collapse has now unfortunately risen to 10. Another 26 people have been rescued from under the debris of the 11-storey under construction building. The high-rise had collapsed last evening after a very heavy downpour, but an unspecified number of people who are mainly construction workers are still trapped under the rubble. The owner of the construction company has been detained for questioning after civic agencies pointed the use of substandard building material. NDRF officials, paramedics and municipal workers have been also pressed into action. 12 fire tenders and hundreds of rescue personnel are currently involved in this operation. The building was located near Purur in the western suburb about 20 kilometers away from Chennai. The city has been witnessing heavy rainfall for the past few weeks. Since most of the victims are workers from the state of Andhra Pradesh, Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu is in touch with authorities in Chennai, offering help in the rescue and relief operation. ఇంకా <laughs> నాకెందుకు <laughs> 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 రామచంద్ర మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ నౌ ది మార్నింగ్ బ్యాచ్ సార్ ఎన్డిఆర్ఎఫ్ అండ్ అవర్ పోలీస్ రెవెన్యూ యాజ్ వెల్ ఎస్ దిస్ ఫైర్ సర్వీస్ Um, Chennai uh, Metro Rail, everything here. Now the morning batch has come. And joining us live from the ground is our correspondent Shrisha Reddy. Shrisha, take us through the rescue efforts underway on the ground. Is there any hope now of survivors? But that's right, Vedika. We are right now at the ground. Uh, when, you know, when I, 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 mean, I can ask my camera person to pan in and show you uh, the rescue options are still underway. And the rescue operations have been taking place for the past 12 hours. Uh, and uh, so far, 26 uh, people have been rescued from the site. And at least 10 of them have been declared dead. And uh, we did speak to the end, uh, in NDRF. Uh, DIG, in fact, told us that there might be some survivors because they're very hopeful. They have seen uh, such instances in the past. Uh, but as far as uh, this is concerned, uh, the official also told us that it will at least take three to three days three to four days in fact uh, to clear all the debris in this particular place because it is 11 story building and uh, as you can see the visuals on the tv screen the building that collapsed yesterday evening was as tall as the adjacent building that you can see it's an under construction building so these two buildings were under construction it's 11 story building so now it is complete it's completely come down so uh, you know it is, it's a very hard task for the people uh, and also the ndr of officials and the other uh, services were put into uh, press into service uh, to clear all the debris which will at least take two to three days but of course they are very hopeful to find at least uh, a few survivors uh, under this debris. Also Shisha, while the casualty figures are rising by the hour, now it stands at 10. Unfortunately, the travesty is also that is unfolding at this point is the blame game really over this tragedy. Shisha, can you hear me? Well, Vedika, go ahead, Vedika. My question is that while the casualty figures are rising by the hour, unfortunately, the travesty also is that there is a blame game which has ensued over this death trap, really. Well, Vedika, that, that is one thing that we'll have to look into largely because uh, this is a construction building uh, which was first time they came out of Madurai to construct it. This is their first project outside Madurai. So far, they have constructed only in Madurai. And now, uh, uh, two people have been secured and detained. In fact, they've been taken into uh, custody for investigation. And, uh, you know, as it clearly says that, you know, the, they have followed the norms. But one thing that we'll have to look into is that uh, whether did they follow the norms of the materials that were used in the construction of the building? Because 
it's 11 story building and after building uh, you know at least 11 stories of this uh, particular complex uh, residential complex in fact it has come down heavily so there might be uh, you know reports also suggest that there might be some sort of irregularities in the uh, materials that were used but not in the uh, plan that that was uh, for so sought by those uh, builders but again we'll have to wait for the investigation report to arrive so we'll be able to get more information once the investigation process is complete and of course CMDA will also be filing a report uh, uh, you know to the state government today. All right, Shisha Reddy reporting from Ground Zero in Chennai where that collapse has taken place. We keep coming back to you for more, Shisha. But for now, let's also just tell you that the two building collapses in Delhi and Chennai on Saturday have highlighted India's poor record at ensuring safe construction. Investigations in the past seem to highlight the same failures over and over again. We've now put together a quick checklist to help you ensure that your home will not be next. We've seen these scenes over and over and over. Each time we ask what went wrong, we get the same answers. In some cases, it's a builder mafia government nexus. In others, a dysfunctional clearance system. Many builders use shortcuts to get through the maze of approvals. Others add extra floors illegally to reap higher profits. Some use substandard materials to save costs while compromising on safety. You could easily become the next victim of this unmitigated greed, but there are some things you can do to keep your family safe. Ensure that your building sticks to the original plan. Make sure that contractors cure the cement while constructing the building. Do spot checks to make sure construction materials are of high quality. Test the soil to make sure there's no water logging. Ask the builder for proof that they've stuck to the proper regulatory process. And finally, Demand to see original certificates for clearance from civic bodies. These may seem like common sense tips, but few follow them. That's one reason why more than 23,000 illegal constructions were reported to the Municipal Corporation of Delhi last year. 10,000 of these were in East Delhi alone. The numbers for earlier years are no better. In 2012, 29,000 cases were reported. In 2011, more than 30,000 cases were reported. In 2010, at least 20,000 illegal constructions were reported in Delhi. Be safe. Your home is not just a major investment. It's the one place you can keep your family secure. Take time to make sure someone else hasn't endangered their lives for the sake of a few extra rupees. Bureau Report, Headlines Today.